Okay, so I have this white glittered cup that was sitting here from Ink Week that I decided not to do for Ink Week what the original plan for it was, so I'm going to go a different way. We are going to use inks on this one, but we're going to put this decal, this coffee tastes like you should shut the F up until I finish it. Um, this is a clear cast decal from Gracefully Created. They are back open. Their website is updated. So I'm kind of having fun working my way through this batch of decals. Um, I like the snarky ones from there, the adult humor section. So I'm going to peel this off. I'm going to apply it. This cup is not perfectly smooth, especially at the bottom. But because of what we're going to do with it, it's going to be fine. So, and because this is clear, it's going to be best over a nice white base. So, I'm going to get this on. We're going to get this over to the turner, get some epoxy mixed up, and I will show you what we are going to do with the bottom. Keeping in mind, I said inks. So, I'll meet you over there. Okay, so I'm going to get my epoxy on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a coffee swirl at the bottom. So I have some butterscotch pulled from Tim Holtz. If I can get these open. Jeez. That's just for a little bit of a lighter color. I have cocoa from Pixis. I promise this is cocoa. <laughs> And then I also have teak wood pulled from Tim Holtz. There's very little left in this. So I'm not going to get too terribly far with this color. But I'm just going to start doing some drips. All right, so most of my white is covered. This is my... Um, Let's resin white, so I'm making sure it's well shaken. I don't want this band of light at the super top. Um, but I'm going to put a couple drops of that here and there, just for like a creamer swirl, hopefully. Make sure some goes over the bottom. Okay, so I don't want to put a lot of heat to this because I don't want it all running up. So I'm just going to hit it with my heat gun, but I'm going to tilt it down while I do that. And I'm just going to hit it with a quick blast. Because I've not done a coffee swirl split tumbler before. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold it and let it run towards the bottom. And then I'm going to tilt it up the other way. And I'm going to keep an eye on how close it gets to the um, top where the decal is. So I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to have a look at it. I want some more of the dark through here. And I also want a couple more drops of white closer to the top. I love this. I'm going to go ahead and tilt it again. Try and break up that white just a little bit. I caught it on fire there a second. 
that's the problem with doing the torch not the heat gun is you really have to be careful but it'll be okay I promise alcohol is flammable alcohol inks have alcohol in them so do be aware of that when you're doing when you're playing with fire and alcohol inks if it's too fresh and hasn't dissipated on its own you can make fire you've seen me do it before and I am quite certain at some point you will see me do it again And I do have some fish eyes opening up. I'm not going to worry about them. Um, if you happen to catch your cup on fire, you may end up with a little bit of discoloration and you may end up with more fish eyes. It's to be expected. Okay, so I think I'm gonna grab a little stick and see if I can drag just a little bit of this. There should be still enough resin that it'll keep moving and fill in on its own. I'm just going to try and cover up some of this white. And I'm going to try and fill in my fish eyes. If you can catch them on this coat, you're better off. But they will fill in on future coats. So some of my little drags are filling in on their own. Some of them aren't yet. So. I'm going to just gently with my finger fill in a couple of fish eyed spots and then I'm gonna leave it alone I love that I can see some of the glitter through here I'll bring it up so you can see I know the colors getting distorted on the lens but can see some of the sparkle coming through filling in especially through there I made some cool lacing with the glitter showing through <clears throat> so that's it I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna give it probably one more coat of epoxy after this just to fill in any fish eyes or spots but they'll continue to fill themselves as it turns so that's it, a coffee split cup using a clear cast decal from Gracefully Created. Um, over a white glitter base. I'm gonna torch it again just real quick for any bubbles that I left when I was monkeying with it. Uh, a quick torch, a bubble pop torch, not a heat it up to move it torch. There is a difference. It's going to move it a little bit more, but I don't want to concentrate on one area too long. So, and I'm going to pop any bubbles over my decal, of course. 
So there we go. Make sure you can see that decal. I absolutely love this. When I saw this decal, something like this popped into my head and I was like, yes. But then I didn't get to it during Ink Week. So here we are. Love it. That is it for this one. I will see you next time.